Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Slade and thank you so much for clicking on this video. First off, I would like to say that I am super, super excited to bring you guys a massive Pirate 101 event. But this wouldn't be possible without the inspiration from the Hyga 5k 5k event three years ago, which is well known around both the Pirate and Wizard community. So, I'm giving Hyga all the credit for laying the groundwork for events like this. Secondly, I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible and straight to the point. So please, please watch the whole video to get all the information. If you still have any questions after the video, feel free to leave them in the comments below, the questions channel in my Discord, or on Twitch while I'm live, and the mods and I will try to get them answered ASAP. Now that that's out of the way, I'm going to jump straight into the explanation for the Slade Farmageddon event. To start off, the reason I want to do this event is because I want to give back to the pirate community, and also because I participated in the 5k event years ago, and it was insanely fun. So I wanted to bring something back that is similar to it. Next, let me tell you guys exactly what this event will be because I know a lot of you guys who have seen the Discord post or have just heard about it are very, very curious. You will be selecting a max level character that you already have on your pirate account and you will have 7 days to earn points as you compete in the event by obtaining items and gear from various bosses and dungeons throughout the game. The full point breakdown is right here on this graphic. This will also be available to view in the event info channel in my Discord server as well as on my streams. Don't worry if you don't have a max character though because this event still doesn't start for another 11 days which should be plenty of time to finish questing up a character already in progress. At the end of the 7 days your total points will be added up based on the amount that you have you will be placed into the tier for said amount of points. The tiers and rewards for the event will also be available in the same places as the point breakdown but here is a picture of them now. As you can see the players that finish with the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd highest points will receive their own individual reward. And the players that do not will be entered into a raffle based on the point tier that they qualify for. For example, if you're in tier 2 and you earn between 100 and 199 points, you will be entered into a raffle with the other players in that same tier to have a chance to win 13,750 crowns and 10 packs of your choice. People will also probably ask if what if happens if there is a tie for first, second, or third place, and to that I say it is extremely unlikely due to the fact that all of the points come from RNG based things, and the odds of multiple people pulling all of the Imperial Moo gear, or Kane's mask, or all of the Obsidian gear is just extremely unlikely. But if it does happen, the mods and I will figure out a solution when the time comes. Let me also clarify that this event was not designed for players to grind the entire 7 days straight. The mods and I are fully aware that everyone has their own things in life that they have to tend to, such as school, work, and other family things. So do not let that be a deterrent for you because I still want you to participate even if you don't have as much time to play as others might have. My goal with this event isn't just for competition, it's mainly to bring the pirate community together again to have fun playing the game that we all love, and also to give motivation to obtain certain gear that you maybe haven't gotten yet but need for your setup. Because I know a lot of people still need many different gear pieces but just can't find the motivation to go out and farm for hours in order to get the drop. With all that being said, let me now explain uh, how you guys are going to be able to enter the event. On January 19th, a category will be opened up in my server called Slade's Farmageddon. In this category, there will be a sign up channel. Once it is open, you will go into that channel, type the name of the pirate that you will be using for the event, and a true friend code. You guys will have until January 24th to enter, which should give everyone enough time to enter before the event starts on Friday, January 26th at 12 a.m. I have a character that I will use to add everyone and properly keep track that way. If for some reason your true friend code doesn't work, I will try to contact you and make sure that it gets added prior to the event. So the earlier you sign up, the better and easier things will be. Now that the event is pretty much explained, let me go over some of the rules. Number one, Screenshots will be required for all points. So, in order to get points for a gear drop, you need to take a picture of your screen showing four things. The friends list with my character selected, because I will only be adding participants of the event on this certain pirate. You need to have your pirate's name shown above your head. You need to have the chat box open showing the drop you received, as well as being in the location where the gear is dropped. Failure to do all of these things will result in your points not being added to your total. Here are some example screenshots as for what it should look like. There's one for a regular boss drop and there's also one for a ship drop. You should be able to take a screenshot by using the print screen button or downloading any sort of screenshot software. Number two, there are no, and I repeat, no chest hits allowed. The goal is, for this event is to keep this as fair as possible. In order to do that, we have to take away the pay to win aspect off the table. 
If we suspect that there was a chess roll involved with the drop, we will ask to see screenshots of your crown's history, which doesn't disclose any personal information or account information. It only shows what you spent your crowns on and when. So just please, please, please don't hit the second chance chest. Just keep it fair for everybody, guys. Number three, all screenshots must be submitted on time. Any screenshots submitted before the start date or after the end date will not be counted. Simple as that. Regarding screenshot submissions, there will be a channel in my Discord server under the item drop verification category called Create Ticket. All you have to do to send in the screenshot is click on the Create Ticket button and your very own channel that only you and the mods can see will pop up directly under it. All we ask is that you send a screenshot of the drop that you received into the channel along with what the item was. After that, either me or one of the mods will verify it, add the necessary points, and then close the ticket. This process will also be typed out to refer back to during the event in the event info channel in the Discord. This way it keeps the clutter out of the way for you guys and creates suspense on who is getting what items. Also, we ask that you send in your screenshots as soon as you can after you get a drop. So for example, if you pull blood robe, go ahead and get your proper screenshot, create your ticket, send it in. The sooner you put the things out, the quicker we can get points situated. Lastly, feel free to stream your perspective of the event on Twitch if you're able or in this specific voice channel in my server dedicated to the event. Obviously, you guys do not have to stream the game at all. This is only if you want to. But if you do decide to stream on Twitch, I ask that you please put something in your title, like for example, hashtag Farmageddon or Slade's Farmageddon, just something like that so I can go and check out all the different streams, raid people, and it's also the easiest way to make sure you're not breaking any rules. Finally, I'm going to go over a few of the FAQs. 1. Do I have to be in the Discord server to participate? Yes. 2. If I pull an item like Blood Jacket twice, do I get double the points? No. You only get points for the first time you pull an item. You don't get any points for duplicate items, and that goes for every single item in the event. That is why there is a maximum points for the event. It is a no duplicate system. 3. Can I use a different character than the one I signed up with to farm a specific boss? No, because I only added the character you signed up with. 4. Can I enter with more than one character? No, there will only be one character that earns points per user. 5. If I pull all three types of the Obsidian and Brass Medallion, do I get 5 points for each? No, you only get points for one Brass Medallion and it doesn't matter which type it is. Only one though. 6. Is there going to be a leaderboard to show the points during the event? Yes, there will be a leaderboard channel in the Discord server where everyone can see how many points each person has and will be updated throughout each day. Hopefully I was able to explain everything as good as possible in this video, but feel free to ask me or the mods any additional questions if you have any. I want this to be fair play for everyone and I hope that you all have a wonderful time and are looking forward to the event. The entry will be opening up this Friday, January 19th, so until then, go ahead and join the Discord server which is going to be linked below this video, and also tell anyone, invite any of your friends who might be interested in participating as well. Thank you all so much for watching to the very end, I'm so excited for this event. But anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.